So the first thing you need to do to load the magazine of the BB gun is to first take out the magazine and you can check that the chamber is clear. If you see this uh, detent here, uh, the follower of the magazine it has these serrated edges. What you need to do is go ahead and push that down and push it towards this way where you see that there's a little groove for it to catch in. The easiest way is probably do it like that. Once that's down, you can now just pour the BBs in. So take your BBs. There's also this here that you need to push down with your thumb or something in order to pour the BBs into this hole. And if you hold the magazine a little bit more vertically, the BBs should just roll right down in there. And this is a little bit challenging to try and pour it in there without uh, making a big mess. So take your time. You might lose a few here and there. Do it over a table or something so that you can recover some BBs if you tend to drop any or overfill it like I did. So this is a 20 round magazine, a 20 BB magazine capacity. And there you go. So once those BBs are in there, go ahead and release that follower from the detent so that the spring is able to push the BBs and feed the BBs through the gun. Now to install the CO2 cartridge, SIG provides this fancy Allen wrench. It says uh, CRV one, one quarter, comes in the box. And you basically remove this little cap that has the hole all the way through actually. And this is plastic by the way. So be careful you don't cross thread them here when you take it out or put it in. Take the CO2 cartridge, pop it in like that from the bottom. This round part of the base of the CO2 cartridge basically fits the round part of the cap here. Go ahead and uh, finger tight that on so that you avoid uh, cross threading the plastic threads because if you do that, you'll have to fix that or try and get a new one. And then you tighten the screw or the cap with the Allen wrench so it gets a little bit snug. And then what you really want to do is continue tightening it until you can hear the puncture of the CO2 cartridge and keep tightening until you don't hear any hissing sounds. I didn't really hear one because it has a really good seal. And that's in there pretty tight. So now with that, you're ready to go. Put that back in the magazine, close the chamber, and let's go shoot a few rounds, okay?